Hello and welcome to another episode of Fresher Take. My name is Becky. My name's Ben. And today will actually be mine and Ben's last episode hosting the podcast. Both of us are graduating from the University of Lincoln this year. And so we'd like to introduce you to your two brand new hosts. Do you guys want to uh, introduce yourself, Tori? Uh, I'm Tori. I am studying, we're studying my third year of journalism and creative writing. Uh, I'm Alex and I've just finished my degree in English and creative writing at Lincoln. I'm going to be going into a master's in creative writing from October, which is going to be very exciting. So we figure in today's episode, what we will do is get to know Alex and Tori a bit better. And Ben and I are going to discuss some of our thoughts and feelings about transitioning from uni into what I'm going to describe as adult life. Um, because that is the only way to describe it. So Ben, how goes the job hunt? How how goes post uni life for you? I mean, I know you're still finishing up your masters, but um, it's going. <laughs> um, no, it's 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 going quite well actually. I'm enjoying the whole process of finding jobs because obviously I've been in uni for three years, well four years. I've not had the the need to look for jobs so it's nice to be able to get out there and and start sort of showing the world what i can do i guess in terms of media and journalism and stuff um i've had a few job interviews um obviously none have been super successful uh, some i'm still waiting on to hear back from so yeah it's, it's going well with sort of keeping everything ticking over i'm still doing things um outside of what i would normally do to keep myself occupied and keep myself within the, the world of journalism and media. Um, but I think, Becky, it's really your experiences people want to hear about because, unlike me, you, uh, you, you are successful and you have got a job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I got a job as I was finishing up uni. I was uh, applying and, you know, uh, interviewing and everything like that, as I think a lot of people in my year were. My course has been actually really successful in in getting jobs. For those of you that don't know, I do communications and public relations and pretty much the whole course so far has has gotten, has secured jobs in PR. I am currently working for a tech PR agency. It's not an avenue that I thought I would go down, but I think that's another like really good thing about job hunting is that it gives you a chance to explore what's out there and see something that maybe you hadn't thought of before and hadn't really like expressed interest in so I'm finding it really fun so far it is very different very that I cannot stress enough how not like uni working is like it's still a learning process because let's be honest you've come out of uni you barely know anything other than your degree and the working world is different from a uni environment so it's been a lot of a, a learning curve for me. It is kind of like, which is sort of, you know, it's good for um, the fresher take podcast. It's kind of like being a fresher in uni. It's kind of like going through all of those emotions and all of those like processes and everything like that again. And I don't know if, um, I kind of think, I had wished that I'd taken a slight break in between university <laughs> and work because I just think it's very, it's a lot to go straight from work, from university. Like, and I had a part-time job and so I was working on like evenings and weekends and doing my course and everything like that, going straight into full-time work. So I don't know, if I offered a piece of advice to anyone making this transition, it would be... <laughs> Take a week or two. Take a month. Take as much time as you need to prepare for. Ment yeah, mentally, mentally prepare yourself yeah. for what's going for, on for working well. Yeah, I think what I think that's I think that's a great bit of advice though. Just so what once you finish university, take time to mentally prepare yourself prepare for yourself. the next <laughs> next it stage is, of your life, which I think I think is hilarious. It's scary though. It is like you no, I could imagine it would from, be. Yeah. Well, most people, I didn't, but most people jump straight from, you know, college or A-levels to university and then straight from university into a job. I think that is a lot. And I think it is OK to take your time 
and you know really figure out what it is that you want to do you don't have to jump straight into a job you if you're really looking for things and you can't find anything that you like then don't jump the gun just because you want a job or just because you know like you need money or something like that just take your time really explore what's out there you know that's my that's my excuse as to why i haven't got a job yet i'm taking my time not that I have, it's not that I haven't been successful, no, it's that I'm taking my time, that's what it is. But, obviously this episode is not about us, Becky, it's not about no. how we're dealing with graduating, because that's something that we will all experience at some point. What this episode is about is talking to Tori and talking to Alex about pass, having us pass the mantle, the legacy <laughs> of the Fresh State podcast, the over <laughs> to them. Yeah, the torch has been is being metaphorically passed. Um, so I think I think we need to focus on them. It's not about us anymore. We're we're done. We're has beens. We're okay. forgotten about. That's my last piece of advice I can leave you, fresher take listeners, with. Now to hear some more great insights from your <laughs> new host. <laughs> yeah, let's see if they let's see if they've got as good advice giving skills as me and as Becky seemingly have. Well, that's the question, isn't it? Um, <laughs> well, I'm at the point where obviously I have graduated my degree. and I'm kind of the sort of person who I feel I feel scared to stop doing things, which is a reason why I'm well, obviously, it's not the main reason because, you know, I've always wanted to do a master's degree. But like, I almost feel worried to stop to stop doing education because I feel like if I lose that momentum it would be difficult for me to get back into it down the line so that's one of the side reasons why I've been doing my master's and this podcast I feel like offers a lot of good experience like especially for me for my course because I feel like podcasts and literature are quite connected nowadays I would say and like you know tv shows and audiobooks and podcasts like they're all sort of interconnected in a way so i'm excited to learn things from you know being able to discuss different topics and as you say oh like try and give as best the as best advice as i can to other people i suppose <laughs> do you know what i thought you were going to say alex i thought you were going to say that you're looking forward to taking sort of learning things from me and Becky and I was going to be like this is you're in the wrong field if you think you're going to learn things from me and Becky if there's one thing ironically if there's one thing you have learned about the Fresh State podcast is probably don't listen to our <laughs> advice hey um, no look I repeat that statement I give such great advice great advice for other people cannot take it myself but for but as long as we're giving <laughs> advice yeah 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 I love giving advice and I feel like that's something that I'm looking forward to with this podcast is being able to re reach an audience and speak about good topics things that need to be spoken about but I think as well for us it's it's to help us with our own skills with like confidence wanting to you know be on the camera recording your own voice um but obviously I you have to learn to do all that on top of well for me going into third year with a dissertation and all these other projects so it's definitely going to be a challenge but it's an exciting challenge that's going to have really good good outcomes i guess i like i i massively respect how positive you both are about the project and i think i think that's what you need to do to to take on a project such as this um i don't know if it's false confidence i don't know if you're just saying it because we've been like how are you <laughs> feeling um but you know having worked with you guys um behind the scenes over the last few months sort of during this transition period of myself and becky leaving university i think the fresh state podcast is in good hands i think we are passing the mantle or passing the torch to two very talented up-and-coming young presenters and journalists and creative people yeah I, thank you. <laughs> I agree with them a hundred percent a hundred percent you guys are so open to the process and I feel like you can you have various different experiences that will offer such great broad knowledge and broad advice to people and I think that is what people need it's time for you know a different perspective other than mine and Ben's <laughs> 
And the thing um, is, I, I, the one thing I do feel sorry for you both about is that you have very big shoes to fill. <laughs> Because me and you know, I don't think I don't think the podcast would be what it is without me and but I really do. I am I'm absolutely I'm absolutely joking. You guys are gonna absolutely smash it. I know that. And obviously me and Becky will be keeping we'll be keeping tabs on the Fresh State podcast. No pressure. Um, whilst we are gone. No yeah, no no pressure, guys. Yeah. Whilst whilst we're gone, whilst we have have left university, I think we will still we'll still be keeping tabs on the Fresh State podcast and sort of just seeing how it's going. Annoyingly, it's probably going to be better than we ever we could ever do, and that will Honestly. just hurt us massively. Knowing, <laughs> hopefully, that... <laughs> yeah, hopefully, COVID, you know, is is a thing of the past, and you guys can get together in person, record in the studio, which is like some of the best parts. You know, really push, make some content for student life, really just you know, offer, show what you have to offer to to the listeners, and and really elevate the podcast. I'm really, really hopeful for the future of Fresher Take with you guys. Yeah, I, th- I think Fresher Take's our little baby, though, isn't it, Becky? Really, because we we were there from obviously its, it's conception up to now, and it's kind of like it's good to see that we're passing passing the the the, the torch over to to two people that clearly can do a good job, you know, which is which is for peace of mind, really, and especially for the listeners knowing that. You're still going to get the same levels of high quality banter and great advice from two probably better people. <laughs> Let's be realistic. So this is this is where Fresher Tate takes off more than we could have ever done, and we well, realised that me and Becky were the reason that the podcast was failing. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben, Ben, if you could leave Tori and Alex with one piece of advice, what would you leave them with? Oh. Um... Don't do a masters. No, I'm joking. Um, the, advi- sorry, Alex. the advice that I would probably give. Yeah, sorry, Alex. It's a little bit too late now, but you shouldn't really have. No, I'm joking. Um, one piece of advice that I would give to Tori and Alex: uh, just have fun with it. Just have fun. You know, um, I think if you're an avid listener of the Fresh State podcast, which I know there are so many people out there that are, you will have seen the the one thing that stays the same throughout every episode no matter who we're talking to or no matter what the topic is it's always a good laugh i'd like to think and the last year and and a bit has been a really good laugh working with becky and the fantastic guests and behind the scenes team that we've got at fresher take so i would say the the main piece of advice would just be have fun take every opportunity you can that comes with this Um, Because you'll learn a lot about yourself. You'll learn a lot about your ability to present, your ability to interview, your ability to give advice. Um, And as as you guys have already said, it will will help you massively in the future um, with whatever career path you choose to go with. So just have fun with it. Enjoy it. And uh, that's how you'll get the most out of the podcast. Yeah, I would say my one piece of advice would be, and it goes along with that really well, just be yourself. That's the biggest you don't have to have a persona you can just be who you are your thoughts and your feelings and everything you're going to say are valid they're your experiences and the advice you give can only be based off of your experiences or the experiences of those around you being yourself is such a key to be able to actually have fun on this podcast to not be scared that something you're going to say is going to be a bit you know maybe a bit dopey or you know, um like not completely universal but based off of just your experience just be yourself that's it that's just i don't even know how to explain it anymore just be yourself and the rest will follow i think yeah i've i've said some really stupid things on this podcast whether or not they've made it into the episodes (laughs) is another question entirely but i've said some really stupid things on this podcast so don't don't be afraid to because if this was a persona i've messed up entirely somehow (laughs) um so yeah no just have fun guys and what what are your guys's thoughts on the podcast and obviously you've you've said that you're looking forward to the challenge but is there anything that you're particularly sort of that drew you to this opportunity in the first place i think for me like i said before it's all about i like giving advice and things but also it's an opportunity to meet new people because you're going to have guests on obviously i've got alex as my host and then everyone else behind the scenes kind of thing um so yeah and it's also about learning because obviously everything's going to be about different topics um so you get the chance to learn about different things you're going to talk about um 
yeah I quite, I'm quite passionate about especially mental health and things as well so it's it's always good to, I always feel like to learn as you go um life's all about learning for me anyway for everyone so yeah I think learning and meeting new friends and obviously just the life skills that you'll get from it as well yeah I feel the same like especially in terms of the meeting new people aspect like I was really excited to meet Tori because like especially finding out that we're you know part of the same school so that like we know the same faculty members which is you yeah. know really exciting and yeah being able to impart advice using a medium which I feel is a really useful medium because you know podcasts are really in their prime at the moment especially for you know people in the student demographics so I feel like it's you know giving advice but on a medium where you know it's going to reach people in the best way possible. Oh Alex you've already said more clever things than I've ever said in the last year. <laughs> oh we're in good hands <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you're in very yeah, good hands tori are. tori and alex know what they're talking about <laughs> unlike <laughs> unlike me and becky which is literally yeah people might people people might be listening to this now going yes they're finally gone <laughs> they've finally left us um well, hopefully that's not the case but it wouldn't it really wouldn't surprise me it really wouldn't and i think guys that is the perfect perfect way for ben and i to sign off as hosts of the Fresh to Take podcast. So you guys are going to get emotional for the last now. Time, <laughs> for the very uh, yeah, last I'm, time. I'm going to start crying in a minute, guys. I need to get some <laughs> tissues, I think. Very, 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 what was I saying? For the very last time. Um, I mean, I've been Becky. Um, I've been Ben. But what we're going to do is we're not going to sign off because what's the point? What's the point in us signing off? So we're going to we're going to pass it over to Alex and Tori to finish this episode off. Go on, go on. <laughs> well, um, I've been Alex and thank you all for listening to this episode of Fresher Take. Uh, I've been Tori. Um, we'll make sure that we keep checking in with Ben and Becky um, and we can let you all know how they're doing with their, their next year. Make sure you find us at UOL Student Life across all social media platforms and make sure you download our Student Life app. Hey, that'll, that'll do. do. That'll do, that'll Donkey, do. that'll do. <laughs> oh, with the Scottish accent as well. That is that is how you end the podcast. Can we do that? That is how you end the Can podcast. Can we just finish it like that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's, that'll oh, 100%. Do it. That's 100% the outro. That's it. <laughs>